guys, and welcome back to the Rebound. Today, we're going to be making sesame ginger pork noodle bowls. Up next. All right, guys, these are your ingredients. You need about two pounds of meat of your choice. This is pork, but you can use chicken, or if you want to go vegan, you can throw the meat out altogether. You need uh, two bags of uh, sesame Asian salad kit, some sesame oil, some uh, rice noodles, one bell pepper of your choice, yellow, red, orange, doesn't matter, one lime, but you just need the juice of the lime, and some ginger paste. All right, now it's time to play. All right, guys, now I just have my, my pork cut up into long strips. And, it's killer, and I'm just gonna brown it on both sides, really. And then, um, seasoning wise, I'm just gonna use some salt and some pepper. While the meat is cooking, I'm gonna come over here and prep my. Dough. All right, guys, now I'm going to mix together some ingredients to make kind of like the, the liquid or the fluid. So you're gonna use the the salad dressing that comes in the packet. You're gonna dump it. And remember we had two packets, so I'm gonna dump both into a bowl. And then I'm gonna put about a tablespoon and a half of the ginger paste. And I'm just eyeballing this. I'm also going to put about two tablespoons of my oil my sesame oil and about two tablespoons of my lime i'm actually just going to juice half the lime mix it up taste it and then from there i can determine if i need more oh let me use this one fyi whisk matter like this whisk is different from this whisk. This whisk is for something like this. This whisk is for something bigger or like broader, okay? I've learned that over the years. And FYI, my pork is still cooking. So this is all kind of happening all at the same time. That's a 30 minute meal. Have like several things going on. Mmm. It's really vibrant. I love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is ready. It's got the ginger and all those good flavors in it. It's got the lime. I could probably even add more lime. Yeah. Definitely always taste as you go when you're cooking because you don't know if it's right if you don't taste it. Especially if it's something that has that makes a difference in the dish, you always want to taste to make sure that's right and it tastes like what you want it to taste like. All right, so once our meat gets done, we're gonna move on to putting our, we're gonna take our meat out of the pan and put our vegetables in the pan, cook those down, and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. That's All what's right, up so next. we put our vegetables in the same skillet as the meat so that the vegetables can kind of pick up the flavor, the brown, from the bottom of the excuse my kids in back there. From the bottom of the pan here, and I'm just gonna move my my little utensil around to kind of pick them up. And while we'll do we're doing that, we're also going to cook the noodles. So we're gonna follow the microwave instructions. We're gonna take this out of the pouch and put it in the microwave for 90 seconds. Okay, so that's kind of what we're gonna do with this. All right, as our vegetables continue to cook. They softened up a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and add our sauce that we created with our lime and our ginger paste and our sesame oil. And I'm gonna continue to move that around to pick up the flavor that's kind of stuck to the skillet. And then I'm gonna add my meat back to this. And then after I do that, this is really ready to add to the salad, okay? Um, we're going to combine the noodles and all that together, and you'll see what it looks like when we're done. All right, so now we have our meat mixed in there, and it is starting to smell and look delicious. 
now it's time to get our noodles out of the microwave. I just heard. All right, guys, there are so many different um, rice noodles out there. I chose the pad Thai noodles because I just like, I like those. But you can kind of choose whatever noodles you like. So I'm just adding the noodles in there. And I'm mixing it around just to get all the noodles coated with the sauce. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And let me reiterate that if you're not a pork eater, it's all good. We don't eat pork a lot. Um, but um, I did want to have, like, you know, some pork options on my channel. All right, guys. Here's the finished product. Oh, my goodness. It looks so good. It's so very colorful. What I love about the Sesame Asian Chopped Salad Kits is that it's filled with romaine lettuce and cabbage and carrots and green onions and all that good stuff. Red um, cabbage. Oh, yes. So this is about to be delicious. Be quiet! Sorry, guys. You know how it is with all these kids. Anywho, go ahead and like this video and share it, please. I would love that. I'm trying to build up the excitement around my Food Friday videos. Do that for me, and I will see you next Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye.